It's the book of Second Ezra, fourteen and verse sixteen. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. For look how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. Call Halam like Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Hakodash. Double understanding teaches the head apostles and elders of great millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the elect scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching in truth, sincerity, and diligence for the sake of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Lord, witness, let me be edifying and straight to the point. You see, man, the Lord said, For yet greater evils. Then those which thou hast seen happen shall be done here after. And we see evils taking place here in the earth, man. You know, when you consider those all those shootings, man, you had a school shooting, you had a, uh, a church shooting, you had the grocery store shooting, you know, you had a flea market shooting, you know, and the list just go on and on. You had a you had a Eve shooting, shooting in the car, I believe she shot a 13-year-old in the face. You know, hey, Eve was increasing in the earth, man. But the Lord said that it's going to increase. Matter of fact, what he say? He said, for yet greater evils than than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. So the evils that we see now, and the Lord said, greater evils is coming, man. So the evils that you pretty much beholding is the tip of the iceberg, man. It's the beginning of sorrows. You know? And the Lord said, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And what's the driving force behind the love of many waxing cold? The iniquity. You see, the, the, the iniquity abounding, man. And who's the driving force behind the iniquity, man? The so-called white man, Esau Edom, the wicked, man. You see, real quick. Let's go here. This the book of Psalms, chapter 12 and verse 8. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. You see, who is the vilest men? The vilest man is the so-called white man. Hey, he promotes, the, the so-called white man promote murder, man. He he condone that shit. That's why it keep happening. You see, even when you go all the way back to the time, you know, when when, when the Batman movie came out, the Batman versus Joker movie, and, and, and the nigga went up in the, uh, the white dude went up in the, in the, uh, in the movie theater, just like Joker, and he started killing the people in the movie theater. That was kind of like the jump start of all this, sh all this damn mad shooting shit, man. You know, but Esau condoned that shit, man. You see? Because, hey, uh, what, uh, what Esau want to do, the so-called white man, he want to come confiscate your guns, man. You know, and these red states, these patriotic Americans ain't having that shit, man. All that's going to happen is it's going to, hey, that's going to open the door for greater evils to come, man. You know, these these patriotic Americans is not having that shit, man. They going to, you going to have seditions and insurrections, you know. We say they should not regard their kings nor princes. These Americans ain't having that shit, man. You see, hey, when the famine roll in and, and really start to consume America, that's going to open the doors for greater evils to take place here in America. You see? But, again, this Psalms 12 and 8, he say, The wicked walketh on every side when the vilest men are exalted, man. And, if, and the vilest men... Goes into Esau Edom, the wicked, you see, because when you let's get a Google definition of the word vilest. All right, it means foul, ex uh, extremely unpleasant, morally bad, wicked, you see. And, and, and this, though, that definition pretty much describes the traits of the so called white man. He's the one who's morally bad and wicked, man, you see. Real quick, let's go here. This is the book of um, Proverbs, chapter 29, and verse 16. He said, when the wicked are multiplied, transgression increaseth, you see? Hey, and America promotes transgression, man. You see? Hey, that's why you, that's why you got murder uh, at an all-time high hand in America. Because America promotes murder, man. It's all in your TV shows. It's in your, it's in your video games. It's in your music. It's in your movies. It's in commercials. You know, it's in your a murder. It's in your everyday life here in America, because the so-called white man he promotes it, man. He can, he condone that shit, man. You see, that's why transgression increases here. That's why you got wicked niggas that are that are that are go and and and, uh, and and do wicked shit like that, man. Shooting up places and shit, man. You see, oh, that's why you got gangs and 
all type of shit that go on here in America is because the so-called white man in power, man. He said when the wicked are multiplied, transgression increases. You see? Because hey, the so-called white man may void the laws of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. That's, hey, that's how transgression increases. Increases, man. You see, he said, but the righteous shall see their fall. And we seeing the fall of, of the so-called white man. We seeing America collapse before the masses of the people, man. And the Lord only gave his prophets the eyes to see and the ears to hear these things, man. You see? And and, 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 able, and we able to understand the season and the time we living in, man. You see, but the wicked, they ain't, they, they, they don't, they're not understanding what's going on because they under the philosophy of the so-called white man. You see, they, they they hearken to his lies and his deceit. You see, and that, that's what pretty much make you wicked. Because if you hearken unto the the, uh, the words that you have about Shemuel was shot, hey, this bring forth life, man. You know, but hearken unto the so called white man and his lies and hey, his doctrine, his his philosophy. Hey, that's what make you wicked. Hey, because for instance, you know, you can just go off off a dietary law, right? The diet. That here in America, a hey, pork is a delicacy here in America. That's but that's a lot though, because the Lord told you that you shouldn't eat pork, man. But the so-called white man told you you could. You see, look, this Proverbs twenty nine and verse twelve. If a ruler hearken to lies, all his servants are wicked. You see, and America promotes lies, man. So how much more for the people here in America? Real quick, this Ecclesiasticus. In verse 2, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein, you see. So the driving force behind this wickedness is the so-called white man Esau Edom. Hey, he promotes iniquity. So how much more for the people who subscribe to his way of, his way of living real quick? This is the book of John, chapter 8 and verse 40, and verse 44, Salakia. See, ye are, ye are of your fathers the devil. Matter of fact, we're going to start at verse um, 43. Why do ye not understand my speech, even because ye cannot hear my word? Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He, he was a murderer from the beginning, you see? He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it, you see? So those who follow out of the ways of the so-called white man, you pretty much took on his traits, man. You see? Hey, the scriptures say that hey, those them who have fellowship with a proud man shall be like unto him, man. So if you subscribe to this, this system... You know, better yet, if you need America to be around for the next 10 to 20 years for your dreams and aspirations to come true, that's, hey, that's an example of you subscribing to this system, man. You subscribe to the to the ways of America, man. You pretty much okay with how this place being ran. You know, when this place promotes death, man. You see, and that's why death linger through this place, man. That's why death linger here, man. You know. That's why death is at an all-time high here in America. Because the so-called white man is in power. And you say when the wicked are multiplied, transgressed, transgression increases, man. And that's what you're seeing happening, man. Transgression is only going to increase here in this land. That's why the Lord say that, uh, matter of fact, let's go back to the main scripture. The open up scripture, the uh, second Ezra 14 and verse 16. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. That's why these evils, hey, the evils are only going to increase, man. You see, because the people here in America are going to wax worse and worse. Because iniquity is going to, hey, iniquity is abounding, man. Until the so-called white man come out of power, iniquity is going to abound. You see, because, hey, that's his, that's his trait, man. He promotes iniquity. This nigga evil, man. You know, this nigga is a mad scientist. You can't compromise with the so-called white man. You see, even when he come humble, come humble and crouching down, and his his inner thoughts is to overthrow you, man. That's why the Lord said, never trust thy enemy. For like iron rusted, 
So is his wickedness, man. Or who should pity a trauma when he has been with a serpent, man? You know, you can't trust the so-called white man because hey, he he's the devil, man. He promotes wickedness. He is the wicked, man. You know, hey, verse 17, he said, For look how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. So as the days go on, as, as we get closer and closer to the end, evils is only going to increase, man. And it's going to be events that's going to happen in the earth that's going to open the door for these evils to increase, such as the famine, man. The famine is going to open the door for a lot of evils to increase. You know, hey, when, Bi when Biden come trying to confiscate your guns, that's going to open the door for evils to increase, man. That's going to cause a lot of uproar, you know. But, hey, the Lord said it, man. Matter of fact, let's go here. This is 2nd Ezra 9. In verse 1, he answered me then and said, Measure thou the times diligently in itself, and when thou seest parts of the signs, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. You see, and, and we see this, man. All this all these evil increasing in the earth is because. Yeah, how about Shemiah Shah is beginning to visit this place? And it's only going to increase, man. It's going to intensify. It's going to get worse and worse, man. A school show ain't going to be shit compared to what the Lord got coming down the pipes, man. You know? And the Lord already warned and told us that he was going to take a great number. You know? So, that, man, these evils, a hey, evils is only going to increase. That's why the prophets constantly telling you to repent, man. Because these things is gonna fall upon them that dwell in, uh, that dwell amongst the world, man. You see, that's what the scriptures say. Uh, Second Ezra fourteen and seventeen. For for look how much the world shall be weakened through age, so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein, upon those who dwell in amongst the world, man. Look, this Second Ezra fifteen and verse fourteen. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. You see, woe meaning death and destruction. To the world and them that dwell therein, those who who partake in or hold fast to this system, man. You holding fast to America. You looking for America to get back to normal. Of. You looking for all these things to blow over. Man, the evil's increasing, man. The famine increasing. The drought increasing. A hey, wars increasing. The more of hey, these people, the love of many is waxing worse and worse. So iniquity is going to increase in the earth, man. Ultimately, right hand Babylon the Great, America. This place right here is the height of wickedness, man. You know, real quick. This second Ezra chapter 4 and verse 28. He said, But as concerning the things whereof thou ask me, I will tell thee, for the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come, you see. And the evil is constantly being sown here in America, man. You know, he said, If, uh, if therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good, you see? So America has to pass away, man. And we witnessing that. But before America pass away, evils is only gonna increase, man. You see? Because the Lord gonna give his man a deliverance to remember, man. You know, the deliverance that's going to come from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh when he delivers us out of America, it's going to be a, a, a deliverance that's going to be taught, that's going to be talked about throughout the ages, man. You know? And the Lord is setting that stage up. You know, for it, for there to be deliverance, it has to be chaos. It has to be evil. It has to be perilousness. You know? But it's only going to increase, man. So the things that we're seeing now happen, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Wait till you see, wait till the Lord truly open up, man. Wait till the famine come, man. You're gonna see the mindset of these people. You gonna then you're gonna understand that yeah, America need to be judged, man. These people have to be judged, man. Because these people are morally fucked up, man. You know, and you, you just don't see it because the land still got root, it's a functioning society. You can still go get food and water, you can pay pay your bills, you can go to work. Wait till all this stop, man. You can still call 911. Wait till all this stop. You can still go in your house and turn your lights on. Wait till everything stop, man. Then you're going to see the nature of these Americans. You know? Then you're going to see the spirit of vengeance. 
the, the, the spirits that was created for vengeance. You see? Hey, man, but Lord, when this is edifying to the elect and to those seeking salvation through our Lord, Yahweh Shah, as always, giving our glory and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rahak Kodash. You know, repent, man. Hey, that's why the scriptures say, uh, repent, or you shall all likewise perish, man. Because the Lord is going to open up, man. You see, the Lord is beginning to open up. That's why the prophet is out telling you to repent and turn back before these evils consume you. Shalom.